let's look at how we can build a super simple JavaScript pipeline for Eleventy using ES Build. Now, ES Build is this JavaScript bundling package that is made for speed, and it's it's super quick and easy to get started, and it moves really fast. So we can kind of set our um, our, our website up to have interactivity and and to build that uh, ES Build process into the Eleventy build process as well. So what I have here is just a very basic Eleventy site, the the most bare bones you can have, an index.html file. Um, with one paragraph tag that says hello world and I'm running it over here. We can take a, a quick look here that I've got the um, got the dev server running. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to install ES build. So to do that, actually, I'm going to go back to my server here and run npm install dash D and then ES build. Okay, now back in the code, let's add a folder called JS for our JavaScript. And let's just put an index.js file in here. And we'll we'll do something super simple. Console log, hello world. Yes, perfect. Okay. And now we need to configure our ES build process. To do that, we're actually going to work it into the 11D build process. So we can we can put it right in the main 11D configuration file, which I don't have right now. So let's create that. It's in the root of the project and it's dot t spelled out dot js. All right, and we're going to require ES build first. Let's build. And then our exports, uh, or our, our main default export is where we can uh, define our 11E config. And I have, I don't, this was wild. Okay, code pilot doing its thing. Um, this is, this is actually, yes, yeah, you know, interesting, but not what I wanted here. So we're going to say 11 e config on, and we'll say 11 d dot t. Let's spell that right. 11 d dot v4, and then async. We pass it an async function because ES build um, isn't is a uh, an asynchronous process. So this one, this is going to be a little closer. All right, our entry point is js slash index.js. We're going to, yep, let's bundle it. Let's not minify it. And default is false, which is why I removed that. We'll specify our output file as underscore site slash js slash maybe bundle. And um, that underscore site is coming from 11D. And we'll keep our sorts maps. And we, you don't have to define target, but... Let's let's do it. Maybe Chrome 58. Uh, I'm not sure. Yep, yep. That way we can we can make sure we're reasonably backwards compatible. Okay, so this should run before the 11 d build process runs. Now let's let's take a look. Let's go back to our terminal, and we'll just run our dev process. And by the way, I said npm run dev. I haven't shown you that. I have a dev script here, which is running 11 dash dash serve. All right, and now if I open up my file explorer, I see I have an underscore site, and it does have a JS fo uh, folder with a bundle.js. So this is super simple. That's my bundled file. And then there's a source map in there as well. So now if I refreshed the browser, and even if I were to pull up the console here, nothing's nothing's going to happen. Um, oops, there we go. If I can, yeah, let's take, bring that one in too. Um, nothing's going to happen because we haven't loaded the JavaScript file from the main index.html file. So let's do that down here. Script, and the script is going to be, our source is js, index.js. And... Uh, oh no, not index. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Bundle, bundle. All right, and now we've got hello world. Amazing, it works. So that's the that is the simplest way to do that. Um, and we're up and we're running. And it it you know that that is enough to get the job done certainly. But let's talk about a couple other um, things you can add to it and and best practices that could go along with this. So first off, you probably don't want to put all of your code in the index.js file. Okay, so one thing you, you may wanna do is break up your code so you can import and export various modules. You can have every file can do just one thing. And even if we were to say, I mean, let's let's keep this simple. We don't have to add any inter interactivity. You know what you wanna do for your application and, and you can 
certainly make that happen. Um, what we can do here is let's create maybe a new folder in our JS folder called uh, maybe how about details? And we can create a new file in there that says say hello.js. And it's going to export a function called say hello. And all that's going to do is say hello, the console. All right. And then in our in our index file, we want that function to be available. So we would import uh, say hello from our utility file there. Now, if we do this, let's see what happens in our build process. Okay, so we're still running here. We refresh the page and are we, oh, right, okay. So nothing happened. Notice that our bundled file didn't change at all. And the reason for that is that we haven't, we saved this JavaScript file. It 11 d didn't do anything because of that. So if I, let's do this again, save it. 11 is not actually rebuilding when I save that or I save this new file. 11 d is doing nothing because 11 d is not looking for these types of JavaScript files to be reloaded. And so one thing we should do in our 11 d config is we should also tell 11 d to watch this directory. So we're going to say 11 d config dot add watch target and give it the Java or the JS directory, which again is where our, all of our JavaScript is. So now if we do that, I think we, I don't know, it might reload, but let's just restart the server just, just to be sure. I'll refresh my browser over here and now, um, okay. So, well, it, it rebuilt because we ran, we restarted the server. We'll be able to see this update in real time, but for, notice now there's nothing here. And there's nothing here because ESBuild is bundling the index file, which is here, the index.js file, but there's nothing happening. It's just importing this variable and doing nothing with it. So even if we said, say hello, let's see what happens. Now we should see, if I go back to, yes, 11 e rebuilt this time, so that's good. And back in the bundle, mm, we, still, we still have nothing. So we wanna actually put something to use, do something here. So what I usually do is I might say, uh, well, actually what, what we could, we could say global this dot app. This is what I really like to do. Define a global variable and a, a global object. So global this dot app and global, this could be the same. It's the same as the uh, window object when we're running in the browser. And I'll say, say hello, which defines this as a property. And the value of that property will then be this function. And now if I save that, let's look back in our bundle. And now we have this function, say hello, because it's been imported and being used. And we have a, um, a global app variable available. So I can refresh the page. And now in my console, I can say app. I can say app dot say hello. And I can even call that function. So something we could do, for example, is we could put a button in our index file index HTML file. So let's put another um, paragraph here. Let's put a button in there. Say hello. And we could do on click. And we're going to call app dot say hello. All right, we'll refresh there it comes over there. Click. And we see we are saying hello. Okay, so you can see how we can make objects available globally so that you can interact with them in directly in your HTML. You could also, rather than taking this approach, you could choose to um, attach events directly to objects uh, on the DOM through your JavaScript code as well. And then lastly, the, the important thing here is that we also told 11 d we want it to watch the directories in which we're going to write JavaScript so that it rebuilds automatically. So if I said hello world instead that this is refreshing uh this this is live reloading automatically and now i get this updated copy whereas with without the 
add watch target, the JavaScript directory, nothing would, we wouldn't change. We would have to kill the server and then restart the server. Okay, so that was a really quick look at how you can add an ES build JavaScript bundled pipeline, uh, or yeah, add a JavaScript bundled pipeline using ES build to your 11D apps. Now go crazy, go make them super interactive and just build some great sites with 11D. Thanks for watching.